Tuesday, what's your tasty Tuesday? Show us Tuesday, I try to make something tasty. Sometimes it works. <laughs> when was the last time it worked? Weeks ago. Hi, hello. I feel like we need to catch up. Last time I saw you, it was pretty much still summer. Now it's fall. I know it's fall because there's pumpkin spice everywhere. Everything in the grocery store is pumpkin spice. Bagels, cheese, tortilla chips. It's weird. We'll get to pumpkin spice later in Tasty Tuesdays. This week, I'd like to focus on a fall fruit that is often overlooked and very underrated because it's overshadowed by pumpkins. The apple. Did you know apples are in season? Probably. I never know what fruit's in season because I'm a spoiled brat in California and every fruit's always in season all the time. But apples are in season for fall and I thought we would make some breakfast pizzas with them. I saw this on Minimalist Baker's site and I thought they looked delicious. Also, we're getting into that time of the year where it's acceptable to eat sweets no matter what time of the day it is. So, breakfast pizzas, apples, fresh apples, organic, healthy? No, probably not. Let's make this dish. Step one, we're gonna preheat our oven. Preheat? Preheat oven? It's been a while. We're gonna preheat our oven to 400 degrees Fahrenheit. Did you miss me, oven? I missed you. Oven love it. Did it. Next, we're gonna take one sweet apple and one sour apple or tart apple. I did a Granny Smith and a Fuji. I actually did two Granny Smiths because these Granny Smith apples were really tiny. Or maybe the Fuji apple was really big. Either way, I wanted it to match. So take two apples, core them, chop them. You don't have to put them in a bowl, but I did because cute. I'm cute. And then put them on a baking sheet. Mine has foil on it because that's what my mom used to do and I'm too scared to put apples on dirty pans. But you do you. Woohoo, getting back in the game. It's happening. It's happening. <laughs> yep, we're there. I don't know what I'm doing. Just fondling a bunch of apples. That's not in the recipe. So, lemon juice, uno momento. We're gonna take one tablespoon of lemon juice and sprinkle it all over our apple. Fruits are friends. I think a tablespoon is half a lemon, right? You would think, right? You would think, right? If you know the answer, let me know. Cool. Half a teaspoon of cinnamon is also going on our apples. The way that you know that it's fall in Los Angeles is they make all the grocery stores smell like cinnamon. And then you know. It's kind of like our equivalent of leaves falling off trees. Then we're going two tablespoons of brown sugar. A sugar. Sugar? I hardly know her. You leave. Like fall, Oh, I feel like I would eat this as is, but I'll continue just for fun. Half a teaspoon cornstarch. It's not sprinkling. Here we go. Look at this. I mean, besides the cornstarch, it looks pretty delicious. Right, I mean, right? Then we're gonna take a tablespoon of butter or Earth Balance and sprinkle it. How do you sprinkle butter? I don't know, we're gonna find out, but we're gonna sprinkle it over the top of the apple mixture that we've created. Oh wait, 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 I missed a step. I <laughs> almost screwed you. Okay, so then we're gonna take our mixture of apples and yummy deliciousness stuff and we're just gonna toss it, which feels a lot like just, just stirring it. Don't toss anything, I wouldn't recommend it. I used to take recipes literally and it's usually wrong if you do that. Like one time it said to scrub potatoes, so I scrubbed it with a sponge. I don't know. Recipes speak a code that I guess we're all just supposed to be born knowing. Okay, that looks tossed. AKA stirred, not tossed, don't toss it. Okay, now we're gonna take a tablespoon of butter and sprinkle it somehow, I don't know, I don't make these recipes up, over the top of the thing, the thing that we were just doing. You know the thing. So like you take your butter and then like, kind of like your hands, I guess, just kind of tear it apart. Touching butter with your bare hands is oddly satisfying. Just me? Okay, butter has been sprinkled. Totally nailed that. Okay, now we're gonna put this in the oven for 15 to 20 minutes, tossing halfway through, but our oven's not done yet. Heating up, I guess we'll wait. But you're embarrassing me. It's almost ready. How's fall in places where there's fall? Go good so far? Layers, huh? Everyone wearing layer? Okay, there it is. All right, 15 to 20 minutes, tossing halfway through, do it. Why? Oh. My husband likes to store cookie trays inside the oven and not tell me, and then they're just there, all heated up. So that's that's fun. Okay, 15, 20 minutes. See that? It's been 18 minutes. I tossed halfway through. It said to take them out when they're fragrant, but they were fragrant pretty much immediately upon being in the oven. So I ignored that, and I just went with 18 because yeah, no, forget. It might have been too much. Oh dear. Is it supposed to be black around the edges? We don't know. No one knows. It's October. Everything is black around the edges. Halloween, bitches. You're not a bitch. I'm so sorry. Oh my god, they smell so good. Seriously, if we weren't filming this, I would just stop right now. This. Oh, can I just try one? Oh. 
I can't contain my body right now. All right, we will continue. So we're gonna up the heat on this oven to 450 because we're about to make pasta. And pasta needs more t more heat to be a pasta. So we're gonna take our pizza dough and I got pizza dough from Trader Joe's. It was already made, but if you wanna make your own and be fancy, you can. I've already done that before in this video. Um, if you wanna use that recipe or you can use your own fancy recipe, I don't care. Live your life, live your best life. So this, I've never actually I use the Trader Joe's brand of pizza dough, but I hear it's delicious. But what do we do with it, dough? I'm gonna tell you, just stay tuned. We're gonna take our rings off, right? Cause we remembered to do that. We're gonna put them on our ring holder cause it's here in the kitchen for this purpose. Cool. Then we're going to take, this is so sticky. Is it supposed to be just sticky? That's what she said, huh? <laughs> Grow up. We're gonna take the pizza dough that it does not want to leave. Get out, Jordan Peele, get out. Movie reference, no I'm saying? Okay, come on, you're embarrassing me. Okay, stop, I'm busy. Okay, but thank you, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Okay, this is, this is very sticky. So we're gonna take our pizza dough, we're gonna divide it into three pizza, pieces, pizzas of pizzas. You can use a knife if you're special. I still maintain that I'm more special than you. And somehow, let go of these. We're gonna work with one at a time, figure out a way to let go of these. I get why men like boobs. Okay, pizza time. Focus. Get off my hands. <laughs> okay, lightly floured surface. We're gonna roll our individual little pizzas into a very thin crust. Just when you think it's thin enough, go thinner. This is Hollywood, baby. Do you know what I'm saying? Maybe add more flour to your pizza. Get thin. This pizza has to get thin for the roll. Acting? Hollywood, baby. Yeah. Remember when I said that? It was really cool. How do you keep pizza in, in a circle shape? I will never know. Oh no! I just made one side fold under itself and get thicker again. Oh, this is a disaster. Stop doing that. This is gonna be great. I can feel it in my bones. Okay, this is boring. I'm gonna skip to the part where I get it right. Okay, I was able to get this pretty thin. Not trying to brag, but I'm trying to brag. We're gonna transfer it over to some baking sheets. I have these aerated pizza baking sheets, but you can use a regular one if you want. I gotta lightly grease them, so. You know, bam, boom, boom, killing it, nailing it. Hell yeah. This is not gonna fit more than one pizza on it. Okay, I thought we could fit more than one pizza on it, so it's really off-centered now. It's like kind of bothering me that it's not in the middle, but we're gonna let it hang. We're just gonna let it. Okay, one down, two more to go. See you then. All right, that took a little bit of time, but I think I got them rolled out. I hope they're not too thin. No such thing in Hollywood. Anyway, they're kind of weird shape, but you know what, love your body. We're going to put some of the apple mixture onto each pizza. Did you guess that was gonna happen? You are so smart. I don't feel like I chopped up enough apples for all these pizzas. My apple apologies. My apologies. It almost works. Whatever, I'm just gonna eat the slices that have the most apples on them. That's my plan. Okay. I feel like we could have gone way harder on the apples, but moving on, we're gonna make the streusel part of the apple streusel pizza. Streusel is crucial, I think. It's in the title. Oh, we have to like prepare this. I could have been doing this while the apples were in the oven. Why recipe? Come on. To do the streusel part, we're going to take three tablespoons of raw sugar mixed with a fourth a cup of all-purpose flour. Oh, this is a third. Just be sneaky. We're gonna combine that. Oh, it kind of matches my shirt, like color-wise. Twinning. <laughs> Hashtag. I think that's enough. Looks like really dirty flour or like really healthy because it's got like whole grains in it or something. Trick, it's not. We're gonna take three tablespoons of butter or earth balance and cut it into that mixture. Super easy, super, super easy. Three tablespoons. That's a lot of butter. Jiminy. I'm gonna use a potato masher to cut it into that because a lot of you said to do that in the comments. Whoever invented cutting in butter was an asshole because it's not my favorite. Okay, I think I did this right. It kind of looks like this crumbly texture. Yeah, I think that's what I mean. Shh, you're loud. Now we're gonna take the streusel that we prepared and we're gonna sprinkle it over top of our apples, making this a complete breakfast. We got our butter, our sugar, our fruit, like super healthy because 
it's apples. An apple a day, you know the rest. An apple a day keeps the doctor away, but if you're trying to lock down a doctor, stop eating them. Stop eating the apples. It'd be a good strategy. If I were to make these again, I would add more apples. The apple to streusel ratio is streusing me out. <laughs> no, but seriously, I wish there were more apples on there. That did not taste as good as I thought it was going to do. Okay, now we're going to put our pizzas in the oven for 10 to 15 minutes or until the edges are golden and the top is bubbly. 10 minutes! See you then! Well, I'll see you then. We have more things to do. Okay, while our breakfast pizzas are in the oven, we're going to make a glaze to go over top because there's not enough sugar in this. So, to do that, we're going to take a cup of powdered sugar, put it in a bowl, half teaspoon of vanilla extract, a half tablespoon of melted butter or earth balance, and a little splash of almond milk. And we're just gonna whisk this with a fork until we like it. Oh yeah. Is this turning you on? Do you have a boner? Cool, now we wait for the rest of our pizzas to be ready. The rest of our pizzas, all of our pizzas. All of our pizzas need to be ready. Also, the rest of our pizzas need to be ready. Also, I need a rest of my pizzas to be ready. One more minute. Okay, I think these are ready. This one was ready. These two needed some more time and space. Uh, they're not bubbling on top at all. I don't know if the recipe said it was supposed to. I'm just gonna ignore that. Are you done? Are you, are you done? I can give you more time. You let me know. Maybe they just need a little bit more time. It's so hard to read. I'm gonna give you one more minute. Okay, while that's happening, we're gonna take our glaze and we're gonna drizzle it over the pizza that's ready. The good pizza, the one we like. And see how that goes. Ooh, this drizzle's so good. I don't think I've ever said that about anything ever. Trudel, you looking sexy? You about to get a Okay, okay, okay. Oh, you didn't even, didn't even put the Oh man, fucking camera. There's too much going on. We're gonna record this. this nice ass drizzle happening holy shit you know what i'm saying all right fuck it i don't care if you're done you're coming out we're going we're leaving get in the car got a pizza cutter and everything okay i'm gonna cut this pizza we're gonna see if it's tasty burr bar check it check it check it. this is a breakfast pizza holy moly it looks good. It looks like regular pizza, <laughs> like with a, like a clear sauce on it. This is like dessert. Would I eat this as a breakfast? I don't know. Maybe if I had a fuck it day. You know what I'm talking about. Let's see if these are tasty. Can I have a slice? Cheers. Cheers. This is a breakfast pizza. Apple strudel breakfast pizza. Okay. Damn. Oh wow. That is so good. It's a dessert pizza. Yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Wow. Breakfast my ass, dude. It's the time of the year where you wear really boxy sweaters and don't care what your body looks like yeah, anymore. Yeah, you bring home donuts on Sundays. <laughs> yeah. This is great. Oh my god. This is so good. Wow. I feel like I would eat this as a dessert pizza. It's a dessert pizza. But hey. You know, you want to have a happy life with your breakfast, then you can be my guest. It's like when you're ordering like Little Caesars and it's like, for three bucks more, we're throwing like a big fucking cookie. <laughs> like that's this shit. This shit is way better than Little, little Caesars cookies. Oh, for sure. Holy shit. It's like when they fuck up at Chili's and then they're like, oh no, can we get buy you dessert? Yeah, can we get you a pizzuki? Yeah, this is that. That's so true. So good. This is excellent. It's tasty! I mean, no shit though. You never know. Glaze. Sometimes you baked say- Baked apples. But sometimes you say- And dough. Sometimes you say my desserts taste like diet desserts. That's true. Well, that's because it's like you black seed, whatever the hell. Yeah, you do. but you don't know. This is good as fuck. This is hella good. This to me is like you made frosting this week, and it's like, hey, it's tasty. It's like no shit. <laughs> I like it. it reminds me of fall. It's great. Is there a pumpkin in this? All right. Well, we're about, we're about to get fat. No, pumpkin is all the rest of the month. But anyway, subscribe so you don't miss any of this, and I will see you next time with. Pumpkin recipes. This is out, y'all. Sorry, I'm watching the game half. Yeah, we've heard.